No, I, um, my, uh, my dad's funny. My dad talks about me because uh, he, he, my dad's a newscaster back home. So he's a very deep, loud, authoritative broadcaster voice, which on TV is great, but at home, unnecessary. <laughs> I love the man in death, but he's no concept of how loud he is and that sound travels. And you know when it's bad is when you're a little kid and you do something wrong, you get in trouble, and you gotta get yelled at or scolded by someone who talks like that. It puts the fear of God into you. Oh yeah, especially with my dad, who by the way was king of the scolders. Like he would invent stuff to scold us about. Some of it didn't make sense. He actually once said this to me, hey, knock it off. You know, when I was your age, I was a lot older than you. <laughs> I think dad's been drinking. <laughs> I don't mean a dry bar. <laughs> the worst though is if ever, if ever I was so bad that my mom would have to go call him up at work. I know we have some moms out there. You know when moms get fed up to the point that that's it, I'm calling your father. Those are the scariest words in the world to me. Yeah, because he was already in that newscaster frame of mind. So whenever I'd get yelled at, I always felt like I was the breaking story. Oh yeah, he'd pick up the phone in that newscaster cadence he didn't play. Like, ah, your father. Now your mother just told me what you did. Well, I'll tell you something, mister, you're in a lot of trouble, and you're gonna get it when I get home, tonight, at 11. <laughs> and no television for a week. And now, back to you, Joan. <laughs> my mom's funny, I have a whole separate message problem with my mom. My mom is adorable, she still does not understand the concept of voicemail. Every one of my mother's messages pretty much starts off like this. Hi, sweetie, it's mom. <laughs> Pick up the phone. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you there? It's me. I have a story for you. And then unlike most people, have you just call them back and then tell you the story? No. She leaves the entire story right on the voicemail. Which, and it's never important stuff. It's always like where she went shopping that day, or she'll leave me medical updates from distant family members I haven't even seen since I'm 12. You know, it makes me miss the good old days when we used to have answering machines, because then I could listen to her messages like this. Beep. Hi, sweetie, it's your mother. Remember me? I'm the woman who gave birth to you. It's been three days. I would like to know that you're still alive. Look at me, I'm sitting here and I'm reading through the obituary column. And would you believe I am not seeing your name any place, so I'm expecting a call. Love you. Beep. Yeah, I see, but your father here, I'm in the car. Uh, your mother's calling. I'd say, I'm not going to know where you are. So, up oars. Hi, sweetie. Guess who? I love guess who. Like, I have no idea. Who the... Sweetie, it's mom. Where are you? It's sister's birthday, and everyone's coming. I hope you'll be able to... Shopping yesterday, and I bought the most beautiful... 30%. I couldn't believe it. And the woman, because then Sylvia's stool sample came back from the lab. The doctor said he, when I was nine. My mom's a character, but she's a good lady. I think we're gonna keep her. She, uh... Hey, it's comedian Steven Scott here. Did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? That's right, and you can download it right now and watch my whole special. Unless you're my mom, who doesn't know how to work technology. I pushed the button, it wasn't working. I don't know what to do. So you may have to do it for somebody, but download it yourself or do it for someone else and enjoy the special.